On my way to see a master shoemaker, I stopped to gaze at the column commemorating the victories of Napoleon's great army in the Place Vendôme. Ça, c'est une question difficile à répondre. Oui. Je pense des milliers, oui. <laughs> des milliers de modèles. I'd asked Raymond Massaro how many models he'd created in his life, and he said thousands and thousands. He told me his family had been in the same place for 106 years. Mon père, mon père avant moi, et moi-même ici. Do you have more men than women, I asked. It's 80% women and 20% men. Women buy much more. They change their shoes much more. They like low, medium and very high heels for the evening like these. Women are much more difficult, but they're much more exciting. When someone comes to buy a pair of shoes, you need to know for what occasion they want them, why they're ordering them and investing a certain amount of money. In this case, about $1,500 a pair. For women, their heads and their feet are very important. A good pair of shoes give women a certain allure and demeanor. I asked him whether he thought shoes or lingerie were more important for a woman's allure. Shoes take a woman's whole weight, and when she moves, you see them. When she's sitting, you see them too. They create their own sexiness. An aspect sexy, on va dire, de la femme. J'ai appris que chaque pape a des armoiries comme un noble. Donc chaque fois qu'il change, les armoiries ici changent. Oui, je savais pas. Je savais pas moi non plus. J'ai appris. When I made the pope his slippers, I learned each new pope has his own coat of arms. When I made the slippers in red, it was a return to the old tradition because before this pope, they were made in white leather. He said he'd gone to fit the pope for his slippers in 1980 when he'd come to Paris. The pope's got large feet. <laughs> Almost size 44, and he stands firmly upon them. Holding one of Marlena Dietrich's shoes in my hand, I decided to go and see what the boys in the back room were up to. Paris spells luxury for some, 